Good morning, folks. We've got a couple items to hit today. A tropical storm watch, more surprises in the Nova realm of astronomy, the sun and water, and a dissertation on magnetic navigation. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find another day of relative quiet. Sunspot number is fairly high, but the activity range is low. No big flares or eruptions. We have several plasma filaments to be watching as we head into the second half of the week here. Meanwhile, the largest sunspot group is facing Earth today. We've got eyes on all of it for eruptive activity, including the two plasma tornadoes that can be seen on the northern incoming limb near the polar crown. The top seismic activity is in the West Pacific with a 6.4 in the Philippines this morning. Also a swarm of moderate quakes off the coast of Japan over the last day. Hopefully it's all we get and it quiets down from here. Renewed alerts for a tropical storm in the Atlantic as well, as this one is slated to shoot northward and impact Maine. We'll be watching its track over the coming days for sure. The first article today tells them they still don't know Nova. A new event with the peculiar light curve is making them guess again about the end of a star's life. Apparently, this one had a micronova event in the year before it went supernova. They think the interaction of the supernova with the micronova material is what caused the strange light signatures. Interesting bit up next about how the sun impacts water memory. I know many observers are interested in everything from fourth phase easy water to different kinds of ice crystallization to the more esoteric aspects about water behavior, and they are taking baby steps towards proving it here. Lastly in the articles, a long one, a dissertation on magnetic navigation by the animal kingdom. It's critical because if they ever want to be able to guess how the ongoing magnetic pole shift is going to impact the biosphere's most geomagnetically sensitive animals, they have a long way to go in understanding the mechanisms and phenomenon overall. We hope to see you in Colorado Springs on October 14th. The Big Burb Disaster Vehicle will be at our next event, and I look forward to seeing many of you in person. Tickets found at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.